Hey guys, what's going on? Dilksy here, and welcome back to another video, guys. This is a actual random video, basically talking about my hair and what actually has been happening over the last couple of weeks with it, because actually it's been requested. Like I said, that I was gonna dye my hair, and a lot of people were like, oh wow, can you show like a video of you doing it to like learn how to do it? And I was like, I could, but one big issue with that was I was gonna try and do it in my room because obviously I've got my I've got my webcam, which is why I record all these videos with, but. It wouldn't have worked in here because it's like really, it's a, a small room and generally I didn't want to get dye on the floor and stuff like that and it's better just do it in the bathroom, you know, because it was just easier. So I was going to try and like get my camcorder out, but I don't have the cable to charge it up with because I might have left it at home. So yeah, I didn't do a video or, or like explain it and because the video would have been an absolute age because it, like, it took a long time to get it to be like this. I took some videos and we ho hopefully you will enjoy it. It was quite funny. Uh, there was quite a lot of that happened. It wasn't just a simple like process. A lot of stuff went wrong. So yeah. Basically guys, I'm gonna start with the, the first like starter thing was that the color that it was when it started off, it was like a brownie reddy color. Basically it was like that because I tried to make it go red from black and it went like a browny, reddy, mushy thing. But I, it's kind of what I wanted. I didn't want it to be like bright red. I wanted it to be like a tint of red. But this time, I wanted it to be blue. And I wanted it to not be like a tint of blue. I wanted actual blue. Basically, uh, I end up using uh, sort of bleach. Uh, there's going to be links in the description to all the stuff that I bought. So like, if you wanted to have the same kind of effect, then um, yeah, you can do if you really wanted to. Um, so yeah, all the links are going to be in the description. I bought bleach slash strip tone or something. I bought black hair dye and I bought the blue one, which is, yeah, like I said, it was manic, manic panic. What was it? I, I can't remember. There were so many different ones that were going to my head. I can't remember which one I bought. Um, so yeah, that's what happened. Those are all the products I used. Yeah, I didn't actually do my hair. I actually had a friend do it. Uh, her name's Kat. And uh, yeah, it was really nice for her to do it for me. So if you're watching this, thanks Kat. I love you. Um, yeah, so let's get back. Uh, bleh, bleh. What happened to my voice then? That was weird. So yeah, let's start off with the first photo, I suppose. So what we first did was bleach pretty much all of it. It was like, I tried to just get rid of the brownie ready mush and get to like a blondie kind of thing. So yeah, that's, it, it was like a weird, like, really bright like blonde slash red slash brown it was it was weird so that's what happened on the first one and then we got like it working blonde and then like the final image was like this like bright red orangey mess thing so that was interesting i was ginger for a while i, I wasn't expecting that to be honest and it looked kind of cool so if ever I wanted to be ginger, I now know how to be ginger. Yeah, so that happened. <laughs> uh, then once we bleached it, we bleached it for like half an hour to, yeah, about 45 minutes. And uh, basically we got to the point that it, was like it wasn't doing anything extra. So we washed it out. We then put in bleach again and we put it in in the areas. That we didn't do it all over. We did it in the parts that had like not really taken effect to it the first time. So that happened. But then we had it like this really bright, blonde, brown, red mixture. And we were like, it's not going to change much now. And we can't really bleach it again. So we just kind of whacked the blue on there. And it kind of went a bit crazy. So yeah, this is what happened after we added the blue. Basically, there was like loads of it here. And it was like all over kind of crazy. But um, this was at like a weird point where it was like brown, red, blue, blonde. And no black. And I, I kind of said to her, said the cat at this point, maybe we should add foil to kind of keep some of the blue. Because we were all kind of in a bit of a rush. Because we, one, we were hungry. And two, we were going out that night. So we kind of wanted to get a move on. And it was probably a bad decision to do it that time. We probably should have done it on a day that we didn't have to go out at like 10 o'clock. So yeah, we ended up putting in the blue. That took about half an hour. It got to this point and then I was like, okay, so we need to add the black over the top of it. So once we added the black over the top of it, basically a lot of the blue that went away, well, a lot of the blue that was there just went. It was because we didn't wait long enough for the actual blue to set in that the black just kind of mixed with the blue and the black just overwhelmed it and the blue just disappeared kind of thing. Except for on the, on the top here, 
like there's there's a lot of blue <laughs> because right where the roots were is where the blue from the original time they were still there so basically i've got a really blue back so if anyone sees me from the back they'll know that it's definitely blue so yeah these are just a couple of the final images of the black hair but from the first time and it basically had like black it has it was black everywhere but like hidden underneath was like blue and stuff like that so like underneath all here would have been like blue it was kind of cool i had it for like a week <laughs> And I was like, you know, it's not, it's not bad. It just wasn't the effect that I wanted, like the final effect that I've got now. Basically, after the black got done, we left it for a while to let the black set in and, you know, give it time to kind of recuperate because there was a lot of bleaching, a lot of dyeing, and my hair felt like straw. So that happened. So then we got around to the next bit. Okay, so basically at this point we were like, there's a lot of there's a lot of blue hidden away, and there's a lot of black overwhelming it. So basically, what we did is we got an, we got the we got the bleach again, the same bleach, and we basically just went bam. I just put it all over, literally everywhere, just to get rid of all the brown, get rid of like most of the black, and uh, the uh, all the blonde. Like there was like random streaks of like brown and blonde and red still in there. So basically, we just covered loads of it and just got it to the point that it was like blonde. And it, this basically took like 25 minutes. It just literally went blonde like instantly. It was so weird having blonde hair. Like some of these images are amazing. The image at the end here was like the blonde everywhere. Oh my, it looked really cool. Like I really wanted to keep it for a while. And I was like, wait a minute, this is gonna look weird with the blonde and the black underneath and the really like brown eyebrows. So yeah, the, the blonde didn't unfortunately stay. But you know, again, learning experience. I got to see what my hair would look like with blonde hair for a while. So that was interesting. So after the blonde got put in, we basically did the blue again. And the blue took a lot better this time. The blue went everywhere. Um, a lot more than I kind of initially thought that I wanted. And then when I saw the final outcome, which is this, I fell in love. I love how much blue is in it. There's obviously um, a lot less blue in it now because I've washed it. Um, because it happened, I did it, I, 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 we bleached it on the Thursday. We then bleached on a Thursday? It wasn't Wednesday. It was Wednesday or Thursday, anyway. Um, and basically it, it looked incredible. But then obviously you have to wash it and blue isn't exactly the most known for its durability, I suppose. So when I washed it out, a lot of the blue has gone, but there's still a lot of blue in there. There's like, don't get me wrong, it's still freaking awesome and I still love it and it's still pretty crazy. So yeah, we put the blue in and that probably last, uh, probably did it for about 40 minutes just to make sure that the blue was really vibrant and to make sure that, you know, the blue was going to stay in. But yeah, so there's blue everywhere. There's literally like... It's, it's crazy how much blue's in there right now. The black is obviously everywhere, and there's not really much brown. There's a bit of, like, greeny weirdness at the front. I think that's just because some of the brown and red is still in there. And so the blue is just kind of mixing with all, all that mess, and it's just kind of happening. So, yeah, that's, that's all, everything about my hair. That's how, how it went. It, was, it obviously failed sort of thing. But in the second time we did it, we didn't even use tin for because we were going with so much blue. In the future... I would probably have used tin, or oh, well, in hindsight, I suppose I should say, I would have probably used tin foil to keep the blue in and save us having to get more bleach and stuff like that. But the final outcome is still pretty awesome. So after this, I don't know what I'm going to do with the blue blue stuff because I might just keep on topping it up as it fades, which might happen. Or I've got a black hair dye because I, I didn't know whether we might need it again, so I bought another one. So I've got that ready just in case, you know, an interview comes along in like next week and I'm like, oh my god, I got blue hair. <laughs> so I need to kind of get rid of that kind of thing. So uh, hopefully if you enjoyed this video, if you have, then please do give it a like and say in the comment section below what you liked about it. And uh, we can go from there, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!